Hello, hello. Welcome to my breathwork meditation healing instruction video. I thought I would just um, hop on just to give you um, um, some ideas of what to expect when you come into a breathwork class with me, um, how to prepare for it really, um, yeah, things to expect and actually show you the breathwork pattern as well, just so that we don't need to spend too much time at the start um, of each class talking um, through it. Okay, so if you have any questions before you come into a class with me, then feel free to email me or, you know, find me on socials and, and DM me however you find me for um, for this video and I'll be more than happy to explain it further. Okay, so just a little bit about me. Um, my name's Sarah and I am a mum of um, two little kids, um, a seven and a five year old at this point in time. Um, I'm also a paediatric occupational therapist, so I work a lot with um, with kids but also with with parents um and you know this is actually kind of what drew me towards breathwork um being a facilitator for breathwork is because you know i i spend a lot of time speaking to parents but mainly mainly mums um and you know often they are feeling really overwhelmed um with you know just the life juggle with you know challenges that their kids are facing and you know anyone that's a parent knows that you know having kids and you know particularly kids if they are finding things a little bit more kind of challenging then it's you know it's, it really tugs on your heart and it can be you know it can bring up a lot from you know your own childhood or just your own self-doubt or fears or worries or you know am I doing this right am I good enough you know all these things it can really stir up and as mums I find anyway um and, you know, I was personally was really looking for something just to work through some of that, you know, to work through some of those emotions that I was feeling and um, but something really tangible that I could kind of just do. Um, I've done, you know, lots of yoga. Um, I done not so much breath work as such, but I've done different breathing practices within, you know, kind of yoga. I've done meditations, all of which, you know, are amazing. Um, but I was actually living, when I discovered breathwork, I was living somewhere really, really remote and I didn't have access to the, you know, the usual like yoga classes I would go to and I was really doing everything on my, um, on my own and I found with meditations, um, particularly having to, you know, go onto an app and do the meditations, they were great, but I just found I'm quite up in my own head and I just struggled to kind of really drop in, you know, and then I would overthink it and then it would become frustrating and, um, they've got their place, they're incredible, but I just sometimes would then, just not even finish it because I would be up my own head. So anyway, when I first randomly, I don't even know how I discovered it, I randomly got, an, must have signed up for something and I got in this email about this New Year's Day breathwork meditation um, class that was on online, it was on Zoom and I just, on the whim, you know, just signed up to it and then New Year's Day, I love New Year's and it was New Year's Day and I just thought I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna do this class and like fresh, wow, like I was hooked. <laughs> I just loved it. I didn't know what to expect. I thought it was going to be like a really like, you know, sitting up meditation kind of thing. I had no idea that it was, you know, it was done lying down the whole time. That one was about probably about an hour. Um, It's about 35 minutes of active breathing and then, you know, same at the end, um, time at the end to relax. Um, And it was music and gee, it evoked something in me. And I you know I was could feel the emotions getting stirred up. I could, you know, I was I was crying. I was, in a good way, my whole body was tingling. I was like, wow. Like, but afterwards I was just on this high. I just thought, oh my goodness, this is such a good way to bring up whatever it is that's, you know, really sitting in our nervous systems. Cause that's where our emotions are held, right? They're held in our, our nervous systems. And, um, and especially being a mom, I found that it's brought up things in our nervous system because it triggers us, you know? Have you ever had your kids trigger you? over something, I was like, what is that? And I was really using breath work to help me work out why I was triggered with certain things that my kids did or certain noises or whatever it was. And, you know, I'm an occupational therapist, so I work a lot on sensory and like the nervous system and the brain and how it all works. And for me, breath work just was the thing that I found really worked and helped me um, and allowed me to get out of my head and really drop into my body and, um, it would give me whatever I was that I was needing. Um, that very first session, I cried a lot because it was obviously a lot of, you know, stuff that I hadn't, you know, kind of processed. I'm not a huge, well, I wasn't a huge crier. So I, um, I find it really helped me to release that. But then it also is, you know, it, it does different things in different days, depending on what, on what you're needing. I find that, you know, if I've been a bit confused, a bit of a crossroads with things, I've kind of set that intention of trying to get some clarity and, you know, I find it's really helped me to almost like 
tune in and listen to your you know your subconscious and, and what's going on um and i just find that i really like that um and it's kind of more active it felt more active even though you're lying down <laughs> it's like an active breathing. So it's not like a super passive, like, you know, just relax, which, you know, is great sometimes too, but this just worked for me. And I just kept on doing it. And I was like, I, I, I felt a real huge pull to become a facilitator and to be able to help, you know, these mums that I'm, um, you know, that I'm talking about that I see all the time that are overwhelmed. And, you know, they're just, they're so um, deep in their, you know, in their child's kind of stuff. And, and, um, I really want to be able to give them a tool, a strategy, something really tangible that they can use to help them, them through, right? Because as we all have heard, you know, you can't fill from an empty cup and all that jazz. And it's so true. And I think often mums particularly can be quite um, hard on themselves and can not um, fulfill their needs first and for me breathwork is kind of my way my kind of gift of giving um you know to these these um kind of beautiful parents that are you know that just need something right um there the classes that I can teach are, are typically um I usually leave about an hour but it's usually like about half an hour active breathing which sounds like a lot but it goes really fast and then some like time at the end to you know like kind of more like a shavasana style and then like journaling and things like that um but you can also do you know shorter ones um as well if you just need to get in and get out um so i wanted just to show you first the breathwork pattern and then also what to expect because i didn't know what to expect when i first did my breathwork session and I was yeah I, I kind of wish I'd known so let's just put it that way so um so the style is all open open mouth which might be a little bit different to what you've maybe done in the past with a lot of breath work being done through the nose which is amazing um as well um but it's just this one's just a bit different which is why it's kind of more like active rather than you know through the through the mouth um and then we're basically breathing into our um, belly and then up into our chest up into our heart space and then it's an exhale okay all done through the through the mouth and this breathwork pattern actually kind of it gives your brain something to focus on to something to think about so if you are like me and you're someone that gets up in your own head then this breathwork pattern is really good because it gives your brain something to do so then you can drop into your body which is what happened for me okay so it sounds and looks something like this okay you can put your hands you know here in your kind of in the belly area up up in your heart if you would like to especially to begin with just so that you can can feel it okay so it goes something like this and let the exhale just almost like fall out you don't need to force it um so we just keep going like that over and over again okay um i'll guide you through it the whole time um in my classes um, but basically just keep going with the the pattern some things to expect, everybody's different, okay, obviously, but some things that you may expect, okay, I get, just for the first few rounds, I get a bit of a dry, tickly throat, so if I'm, <sighs> <clears throat> I usually just give a bit of a <clears throat> tickle or a cough, you can have like a little sip of water before you start, which can help, you don't want to have your belly too full of like water or food, um, just obviously you're doing that deep belly breathing but definitely having a little drink of water before can can help but <clears throat> just clear your throat um for me it typically happens the first few rounds and then it just kind of um kind of goes um i can get quite cold when i do breath work especially the longer ones so i like to um either do it in my bed and i can do under my duvet and you can you know you can pull your duvet off if you want to as well um but you know not everyone gets cold i do though so i like to have a blanket or kind of a duvet or something um, I typically lie in my bed just because I usually do it first thing in the morning or last thing at night but just make sure you don't have a pillow behind your head I mean you can but um, it's just that you know you want your um, your throat you know to be open so that you're getting in as much oxygen if you have a pillow behind your head obviously it just closes up your throat a little bit more so um, preferably just lying completely flat obviously if you're kind of pregnant or something you can go in and go into your side you want to be comfortable um, but typically we you know usually just lying kind of on our um, on our backs my feet Personally, my feet get a bit fidgety. Um, so I, I don't like to wear socks. Um, and I'll often, if I'm under my, under my duvet, I'll usually just have the, you know, the covers kind of off them. Um, but they do get a bit fidgety. So if they do get fidgety, then I just usually move them around, just stomp them a little bit or, you know, put my knees kind of up and I kind of um, move my feet a little bit. Um, sometimes I get a bit of a, 
not not pain at all I just sometimes look a little bit like almost like tightness like a pressure kind of along here when I'm breathing um that's when I know it's gonna be a really good session um so don't panic don't worry about that okay you're very safe in your in your kind of body um but that sometimes I can feel that kind of just that little bit of like pressure like someone's just kind of you know got their hands there um the big one for me that I wasn't expecting I don't always get it but I did in that first session um is your hands kind of almost cramp up a little bit like like this um so they can be a bit of an extension of your of your heart space and they kind of can cramp up a little bit and I was a little bit not panicked at all but I was just what is going on here you know I kind of wish I'd known so that's why I like to tell to tell you okay what I love to to do now is um I I have crystals that I put in my hands personally just because I like crystals and I I have palm sized one so I just put my rose quartz in one hand and this is selenite it's like a palm one in the other um if you don't resonate with crystals don't use them or you could get like little pebbles or something um you don't have to have anything in your hand you can just put your hands like here if you want to um, I usually start with my hands kind of here for the first few rounds and then I, I usually just have my crystals and have like just lying like that like fast and pose um but you can of course just stretch your hands out if you need to wriggle your fingers you can keep your hands up if you want to as well it doesn't happen every time for me um it doesn't happen to everyone but just wanting to let you know just in, in case whole body tingles i love that it's just like the vibration it's like it, you know your whole body kind of feels like it's vibrating and, and tingling um so that's the main that's the main ones that i've kind of found um certainly and you know allowing whatever emotions to to come up you know seeing it as a tool as a you know it's a healing practice right so it's kind of whatever is getting stirred in that kind of pot it might be you know sadness it might be grief it might be gratitude you might just have this overwhelming feeling of like you know gratitude and happiness and joy and that's perfect too it doesn't have to be neg like a negative it doesn't have to be anything like getting up and out like it has to be um like sadness or frustration anger you know there can be a whole load of things um that can can come up or might not and that's okay too um but what i like to suggest is just to to stay with it if you if you can just to stay with whatever emotion it is that's, that's coming um up for you um and and really if you know everyone's everyone's got their own experience of you know childhood and life and their body um you know so you can kind of say kind of a mantra if you if you want to if it feels good for you either out loud or in your head you know i'm safe in my body you know my body knows how to heal um you know whatever i'm feeling it's safe to feel um, because everyone's got their own experience of safety in in their body um if at any point of course you don't feel you know kind of safe and it's not feeling um supportive to you then you know at any point you can stop that breathwork pattern and just return to your normal breathing like that's absolutely fine and you'll you know it just you, you come come just come kind of back in into your normal breathing and that's okay um but just kind of thinking about like almost like that you know kind of digging into that kind of subconscious and that you know that um that nervous system a little bit and kind of bringing things kind of from from kind of deep in here kind of up into your into your heart kind of space and then um and then out okay i love to journal afterwards um especially in that shavasana phase i usually get you know, if I've set an attention, I might have like words that spring to mind or phrases or ideas. You know, I've had gone into sessions like almost at a crossroads and not knowing which way to go or had ideas mulling in my head and sometimes I get a bit of, you know, clarity around um, that. I've had, there was something kind of going on with one of my kids and I was kind of trying to get a bit of an answer and I had this like word that kept on coming, you know, to mind that, um, that I kind of wrote down and then, you know, was exploring that. Um, you might just have a, you know, a feeling of calm and like, you know, your, your brain might just and your body might just feel calm and like there's kind of nothingness and that's beautiful like that's just a really nice practice too um the important thing is just not to overthink it not to judge it not to force anything just to breathe just focus on that breath um and just your you know just let your your kind of body and do the rest <laughs> um i think that was all that i really wanted to tell you yeah just to enjoy it um if you do have any questions then of course you can um you know message me or you know kind of dm me on socials um if you've got any more kind of questions about that but um yeah like I, said, I really love this breathwork practice particularly for um you know my passion kind of lies um in, in obviously helping kids um and this can be a really nice 
um, way to show your kids too, right? You know, you can be doing it, um, you know, I like to support the parents as well, but by, by you um, giving yourself like that act of self-love and, you know, you, um, you know, working on yourself is, is naturally going to have that flow and effect of your kids as well. Um, we often just focus on them, but if we're doing things for ourselves, it naturally has that flow and effect too. So, um, you know, where you can have a regular practice is, you know, is, is amazing. I know that time can often be tricky, but the nice thing um, is even a couple of songs, like putting, you know, a few songs on and, you know, doing it is better than nothing. So even if you're just kind of committing to to doing short ones, then that's really good too. Um, but coming along to the, the longer classes is, is nice. And then I always leave some time at the end as well so that if you do have, um, you know, if you want to work through a particular kind of emotion or just talk things out or just, you know, say something at the end, that um, then that can be kind of nice too. Although, of course, you don't have to. So but that is available to you if you want to. Um, but yes, I love to offer this practice to you. So I hope you enjoy it as much as I do and we'll hopefully see you soon.